Hey everyone, it's Amy with Dragon's Bit Apothecary. Thanks for joining me this Friday afternoon. I'm so glad you're here. We are here for our oils and oracle reading that we do every Friday. Um, I hope that you are subscribed to YouTube so you don't miss these. They're a lot of fun. And if ever you want a personal reading, you can just contact me on dragonsfitapothecary.com and book a session with me. I'm happy to do these for you individually as well as just our, our general reading that we do every week. So, this week I am using our Divine Feminine cards, and um, a pretty insightful reading we're getting ready to have. So, um, I pulled three cards, as you guys know, one for the weekend, one for next week, and one from the universe. And um, these are such great cards. They're so insightful. I think they're just beautiful, and um, I know you're going to enjoy hearing this reading. So, the first card we have is for... Um, uh, the weekend, because it's Friday, and we're all ready for the weekend, right? Um, so the first card that came up with was this lovely um, Zoe, and I'm not even going to try her last name, <laughs> but she is um, a really important person that we're getting ready to learn a little bit about. Uh, let me get to her information. Okay, so she is um, the card for Mystic of Peace. Okay. And she embodies unwavering tranquility that exists deep beneath the turbulence of our daily thoughts. So she was a 12th century um, Taoist, mystic, and poet. Um, they say, and this is legend, that the night before her son's birth, she had a dream that she was immersed in red mist. And that was obviously in the Chinese culture, red is a very symbolic color. Um, so she was given the title as Master of the Free Human of Mystic Peace, okay? The emphasis, she became a poet and very influential in the Taoist um, religion. And, um, you know, kind of a pedestal of awareness, okay? Um, and often referred to in her, her, the moon in her poetry, because very in sync with the moon. Um so apparently, this was interesting, I learned about her. Albert Einstein reportedly said that we cannot solve our problems with the same thinking we used when we created them. So this card is about clarity, okay? Clarity only comes from clarity. And, and the peace and calm that exists beneath that chaos when we're able to get clear on something is what this card is calling us to do, right? Because you have all this noise around you, all this chaos and drama, but when you get quiet and you start looking at it from a calm perspective, you get different thoughts. You get really clear on what's important and how to deal with the mess that you're in, right? So um, this card, I align this to um, some oils, patchouli and lemon, because these two oils really help us get down to thinking beneath the chaos, thinking beneath the problem right? And get deep. when someone says digging deep, that's what this is referring to. So this weekend, we've got something we need to get clear on and we got to get still and quiet around it. So by using um, the doTERRA patchouli and lemon oils with this, I think we can really achieve that desired clarity that we need right now. Okay. So, and by the way, patchouli and lemon together are pretty incredible in a diffuser. So, um, I personally love the real patchouli. I think it's really um, exotic and fun. And it's not like you imagine the cheap stuff. <laughs> so if you've not ever tried it and are interested, let me know and I'll help you get some. Okay, next week. This is a really cool card, guys. Um, next week, we've got this other one. I'm going to turn to her page now so we're ready. And then I'll show you this card. It's really weird, this um, little book that came with these cards, they're not in alphabetical order. So it's a little bit, it takes me a minute to get to them. Okay, so our next card is uh, Rabia, I think is how you say her name. And she is the queen of saintly women. I don't know about you, but sometimes I don't feel like a saint. <laughs> but that's our card. So this card is talking about love without exception and seeking a higher love in our life. That's what this this woman of saint the queen of saintly women is about so she represents uh that rare pure love 
doesn't seek anything other than to simply love. Okay. And that's, uh, I think, why she's aligned to the feminine so well, too. So she was a Muslim saint um, and a mystic who lived in the 8th century in modern-day Iraq. Okay. On the night she was born, her father had a vision um, of his daughter and that she would be a favorite of the Lord and that she shall lead many Muslims to the right path. Okay. It's a story around her. So when she was a little girl, her father died and she was sold into slavery. And every night she prayed to be released so she could spend her time with God. And when her master overheard her prayers one time, she was illuminated with light and he released her immediately because he knew she was a saint. And she then went into the desert and worshiped in solitude and she became the queen of saintly women at that point because of her love and devotion to God or Allah in, in that religion. So she set forth a doctrine of divine love. You can still read it today. It's very beautiful poetry. And it was all about her desire to worship for the sake of loving God and not for personal gain. So she uh, wants to be set. Uh, she wants to set fire to heaven and put out the fires of hell. Okay. So that love seeks no gain except to be in service of itself. So pretty, pretty serious chick, right? So she embodies freedom that love can offer us. That's what this card's for. And every action should be motivated to the devotion of God through it. She received the greatest spiritual gift of self-realization. So here's what this card means. That we need to open up our, our love to one another and to ourself without expectation, without controlling it, just letting it be. And to seek a higher love in our own life so that we can be more self-realizing how valuable we are and what we are all about. Okay, that's what this card is telling us. Pretty impressive, right? So the oils I put with this, frankincense, of course I put frankincense with this. Things like frankincense, rose, um, all are centered on this idea of love. Love of higher love, self-love love with other humans, uh, animals, nature, etc. It's all about love. So of course I put those oils with this. I also put Manuka because Manuka helps with conflict that is associated with relationships. And that could be what is causing us to not have that higher love that we need to have through this card. Okay. So next week, it's all about love, guys. Yeah, it's all about love. Okay. Then our third card from the universe is this gal called Bridget. And she is um, another uh, interesting character. I had, I had no idea who she was until I kind of read through this. Um, let me get to her page. For some reason, she's towards the back. Okay, but she is the goddess of eternal flame. Okay, we just got done talking about this chick who wanted to light a heaven on fire and turn down the flames in hell. This is the eternal flame goddess. <laughs> so what do you think this one's about? Okay, she represents the, the essence of inner dawn, the healing that comes from knowing the best is yet to come. And she was a goddess in pre-Christian Ireland. Um, she's associated with Indo-European dawn goddess and the coming of spring. Now, of course, we're well past spring. We're sitting in here in hot July. She is celebrated in a, in a Celtic festival called Imbolic that takes place halfway between the winter and spring solstice. So we just had summer solstice, didn't we, in June? Yeah. So we're still kind of in this period of time where she's pretty powerful. But her moment is that moment between dusk and daybreak, dawn, good Lord, daybreak. And that she rises from the sky like flames and the sun is blazing in her hair. And of course, she's uh, from Ireland, so she's got that red hair that um, you would expect. But she is a priestess that tended to the eternal flame. And this is in 480 CE. She built a monastery to honor the 
to be of honor to the goddess and created a communal and consecrated center for women, religious life, and learning. So she's associated with poetry, um, states of being for higher rising, lofty dimensions, and elevated wisdom. It's a pretty smart chick. So what she is trying to tell us is that there's a moment when you're making your way through the dark and suddenly it becomes light, okay? And that can be days, months, even years, but that it's that breakthrough moment, okay? That time between dusk and dawn, the breakthrough moment. Each step isn't quite as hard. It gets easier as you keep going, but the point is darkness never lasts. Hard times never last. There's always light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, that's what this chick's about. Isn't that cool? So, you, the message I had with this is you always have light within you to guide you through those challenges. Yep, and it's going to get easier. Keep going. So, the oils I put with this are bravate, right? Because that's a very um, supportive oil when things are challenging and they're hard and we don't know if we can keep going. Arborvitae is very supportive for that. I put clove with this one as well. Clove is a very um, enriched oil that helps us feel our own inner power and to feel confident in what we're doing. So I love clove's aspects of this when you read about Bridget and this eternal flame that going towards our own light, right? And then if you're really looking for something to kind of soak in this message, um, I would recommend cedarwood. Okay, so you're, th you're thinking of these really hearty things that, um, you know, arborvitae and si cedarwood, for instance, are trees. So you know they're going to burn, right? You know you're going to get what you need from them. So and that's what this is about. Okay, guys, that is our reading for this week. Um, as always, I'm happy to answer questions about it. Appreciate your support um, through subscribing and liking the videos that I post on here. And always happy to support you to live more naturally on your terms. Have a great weekend, guys.